All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube. This is Pastor Dow. I'm here this morning uh, speaking and talking because I got a few things I want to discuss with y'all. And the one thing I wanted to discuss was is, is that <clears throat> anytime you have a ministry like this one right here, and you're, you're out speaking, you're out teaching, like I'm in Tampa, Florida right now. Um, and, and, you know, there's something just come across my mind because, I, you know, I got an email here from Steve, and so I just thought I'd meditate on it and think about it for a minute. But, you know, anytime you have a ministry that is doing something different other than the mainstream, I mean, you know, the ministry here at Straightway is different than the ministry that you would deal with in mainstream. You see, for instance, today is Sunday, the first day of the week, so all the heathens and all the pagans are going to their sun-worshiping temples to worship the devil, whether they like it or not. They may call him Jesus, but it is not Jesus because Jesus never changed the Father's commandments, and he never told us to go and worship or rest on this day. That's what it's really all about, rest. But, you know, you'll get all these people. All the ATF is, is watching Pastor Dow. Do you think I care? The FBI is watching. Do you think I care? When you look at the history of our people, who was it that put Jesus to death? It was the Roman government. Now, is not our government um, functioning after the same laws that, that the, Romans, the Romans were? So why do you people get so fearful out there? Because, you know, we're different. We're not breaking any of man's laws. We're not breaking definitely none of God's laws. But yet and still, you're so fearful, but you'll get jacked up to stay in the lie. You'll get jacked up to stay in the religion of Christianity because you're fearful of change. It's just nonsense, utter nonsense. Sure, the government don't like what we're doing because we're pulling people out of the lie that, you know, I told you, government always uses religion as a tool. That's the reason why you people out there go to these 501c3 churches because government has a, a foot on the back of the neck of these churches. And I'm a free man. And I'm going to be free. And I'm going to live free. And I'm going to die free. Um, but, I, you know, people use fear. And, boy, they use it in any way they can possible. Oh, oh, oh you know that, Pastor Dow? You know, somebody can make up something just to, just to get you to listen to it, make up an accusation because, to cause you to be fearful because the spirit of fear is working in you. And that spirit of fear will control every aspect of your life. But then, but then you can go out. And you can do anything contrary to that Bible. Nobody ever says nothing. Um, you can go out and live immoral. Nobody says nothing. Um, you can break God's laws, statutes, and commandments. Nobody ever says nothing. As soon as somebody starts doing it, next thing you know, all the first thing, the attack comes from the religious front. All the religious people starts to attack you. And then when the religious people get finished attacking you, then they'll go and re hey, we're going to report you to the government. We're going to report you to the authorities. For what? What am I doing? If anything, we need to report your, your you to the authorities. But, hey, it makes no difference to me. That's just part of the fight. I'm not going to follow satanic Christianity or none of these religions. Neither will I be punked by any of these so-called religions and stuff. My job is to get the message of Yahshua HaMashiach, the Christ, out. Jesus Christ out to the people to give them an opportunity to really truly hear the truth so they'll know the truth and so they can use self-autonomy. Use independent thinking so they can um, weigh the evidence against each other and then find out who's the truth. Because most people, they're just flat out fearful of change. Most people are fearful to change to the faith, the real truth faith, because they're afraid that their family is going to disown them. And you watch and see how staunch that family is tied up in religion. They get to the point now they won't even talk to you about the Bible, especially when you start asking them to sit down. See, everything is fine and good and okay as long as you're following what they say. But as soon as you start checking out what they say, and then you start saying, but mom and daddy, the Bible says, but preacher, the Bible says, all of a sudden, they don't want to hear it. You know why? Because they are controlled. They are controlled. And that's the reason why Pastor Dow wants you to prove all things and hold fast to that, which is good. So check out what I'm talking about, especially when it comes to y'all. Check it out. See if what I'm saying is true or not. And you make your own decision, but get ready for this. Anytime you depart from iniquity, you are getting ready to make yourself a prey to all the people who are under the control of the satanic system of government, the satanic system of religion. And then and then and only then you're going to find out how real 
and how viable and how true this war is that we're really truly in. And that's the truth. And that's the truth straightway. If you're too fearful, you don't need to be in this. Because the fearful and the unbelieving and the abominable shall all have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death.